Hello there, my name is Sushanath. So today we are going to start our video tutorial lesson on how to create and deploy, how to deploy a Windows Forms application. Okay, so I'd like to start this video by congratulating you. You're watching this video, that means that you've already created your Windows Forms application, you've tested your Windows Forms application, your Windows Forms application is working absolutely fine. Now the next logical step that you are undertaking is you need to deploy the Windows Forms application so that the client that you build it for can use it on his PC. Okay. So in this tutorial we are going to learn how to deploy your application using click once. It is something that is provided inside Visual Studio. So you do not need to write complicated code to set up the application copy files under the client PC. No everything will be taken care of by click once installer. It will install all prerequisites that your software requires. For example Suppose you created a software, right? So your software will require a .NET 4.5. Without .NET 4.5 framework, it is possible that your application will not run on the client machine. So what the setup application will do is, not only will it uh, install all the files that you created, that is not only will it install all files in a project, but it will also check for all prerequisites you mentioned. So in our case, the application that we created was a Windows Forms application using C Sharp. So the prerequisite that it requires is .NET Framework 4.5. So this ClickOnce installer will check if or not .NET Framework 4.5 is installed. If it is not installed, it will get it from the website and install it onto the client's PC and then it will install your software. So ClickOnce installer is a very simple way of creating setup applications. And yes, as you guessed it, you only have to click once to create the setup. It is very simple. Uh, it's a very simple, straightforward process. Okay or creating setups in Visual Studio. Okay. But for completeness, we will also learn how to create different options to deploy software. We will not learn the options in detail, but we will just look that look into the fact that yes, these options are there. You can also use these options for deploying your software. Okay. Now we will publish our application in such a way that we will not be publishing our application onto the web server. But uh, we will create a setup file for our application and then what you can do is you know, you can take your software application, um, the setup file of your application that we created, put it in a pen drive and uh, ship it to many clients. Okay. So uh, when you deploy your application, basically we will try to create a setup folder that you can deploy to many clients uh, via email or a pen drive or a CD-ROM or a DVD-ROM. Yeah. So quite simple. Okay, now starting off. Now as I said, prerequisite for this is assuming that you already have created your project. Okay, so here I already have my project created that is uh, my basic Windows application. Okay, now uh, first before we go into using ClickOnce, let us understand the basic methods that are there in Visual Studio for deploying an application. Okay, now uh, here, now this method you can use, this is not uh, the ClickOnce install method that we'll be looking into later. Let us look at the other options that we have. Uh, what we can do is here, we can go into add. We say new project. Okay. So in our solution, as you see here, we already have one app that is my basic Windows app, right? So we are going to add another project to our solution. And you can here on this pane, you can somewhere here see other project types, right? So go here, expand other project types. Here you can see a setup and deployment project that will create an install shield installer for you. Okay. Now this is a very sophisticated method of making an installer. Because this will provide you with many, many, many options. Uh, what registry entries to create, uh, how you want the project structure to be, how you want the folder structure to be once it is installed in the client PC, into the client PC. There are many customizations that you can do if you select this feature, right? Uh, but yeah, it will take time and it will take a little, uh, it will take a little coding. But uh, we will not go into this. We'll go into the simple method, the quick method of deploying applications that is using click once installer so here you have an option called publish right so here you do not have to add a new project to the solution just go to the project that you want to publish right, right click and say publish so it will show a pop up okay so the first thing that it asks me is at what location do you want to publish the app so i want to publish my app at this location right so on my desktop i have a folder called new app that is where i want to publish my application so i say next uh, in this screen as you can see it also gives me various paths where the application can be published. It can be an FTP part, it can be a website, it can be a shared server, uh, so on and so, a network server, so on and so forth. 
but uh, we as I told you the aim is to create a simple application a setup file that can be deployed to various clients by a CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, a pen drive or you can mail the file to them. We do not want to host it on a web server for this video tutorial. Okay. So I do not want it from a website, I do not want it by any other source, I want it as a setup file that I can deploy to my clients. Next. So here again I do not have a web server so I choose this option, the application will not check for updates. Next. And finish. So here you will see that the application has started building and yeah, it published my application into the new app folder. So this is a setup exe file. I click on the setup exe file. It starts the app install and you see here that my app has already been installed and it fired up my app. Okay. Now this app is not running inside the Visual Studio debugging environment, but it is running independently as a separate app. Mm -hmm. Our app performed a very simple function, yeah, so that is all. Okay, now more options when you're deploying apps using the ClickOne installer. What you can do is, uh, you might need to make some changes. That is, suppose you want to change the version number of the app. Right? Talking about versions, uh, my app was deployed in this folder, new app. So here, when I go into application files, we see two folders, right? So one is the uh, version one, and one is one, version one point zero point zero point two right so the next time i deploy my app so when i deployed my app for the first time it deployed this version when i deployed it for the second time it deployed this version so when i deployed for the third time it needs to deploy version 1.0.0.3 right so how do i accomplish that so i go into visual studio and visual studio this is the project that i want to deploy the other way of publishing an app is uh, as we discussed the simplest way is go and publish here the other way again using the clickbox installer is go to properties project properties here there are many tabs describing the application right so somewhere here below there is something known as publish okay so in this publish you can see here that now next time my application is published it will directly be published the published version will be 1003 right suppose i want the version to be 1004 i can make a change here now what this does is because this checkbox is ticked every time i publish an app it increments the number over here okay so now after you do this you can select the option publish now it will start publishing the app as you see that the options that we selected in the publish wizard can also be set over here the application is available offline as well it will not check for updates okay now here uh, important thing the prerequisite section as i told you here you can see that it checks if dotnet framework 4.5 is installed that is the prerequisite required for running this application if it is not installed it will go it will download prerequisites from the component vendors website if you want you can also download prerequisites from tell it to download prerequisites from a, a location somewhere or from the same location as my application suppose you deploy .NET framework along with 4.5 along with the application so it will check for the prerequisites it will check if .NET framework 4.5 is there or not if it's not there it will get it from somewhere install it on the client machine and then install your software you can also specify other prerequisites as we saw in these options. Yeah. So that is all for this video session of deploying apps. So today we learned how to deploy a basic Windows Forms application. So that is all for this video session. Thank you for watching and happy coding.